I know this is gonna sound extreme, it's gonna sound dramatic, but this weight issue that we have and, the, and this nutrition issue that we have in America, in this country with, with all people, it's, it's that serious. What's going on right now? What are you doing? I'm getting my adrenaline going. That's my body's energy drink. <laughs> so Kimmy has been banned from energy drinks for the time being. I haven't been banned. Yes, you are banned. And nobody banned me. Myself. I had to adjust the kit. See how dark it was before? I'm learning how to use this thing. <laughs> <laughs> that made me sweaty. <laughs> Alright, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the stage should be giving you a check, boo. Because you, you need some assistance. Skylar's like one of the best people in the world for letting us have this truck. Hey, we have really good friends. I still haven't figured out what the vlog was going to be about. What do you think the vlog should be about? Um, something about us. People learn a little more. From the for Bricks Fitness. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. I'm a, uh, I'm gonna think of something right now. I'm a. One, two, go. Down. Yeah, we're about to do legs at Planet Fitness. But I want to have something something of value to share with them that will help them in their journey. Can we let them in a little on our talk we had? Uh, what, Yesterday? What, what talk? Our talk we had. We walked around and we sat on the steps. All right, I'm gonna, let me, hold on. I'm going to think of something right now. I'm going to cut okay. this off. All right, I figured it out. We're going to talk about the aha moment. The moment where the light bulb goes off and you finally stop BSing about your weight loss, you finally stop BSing about your nutrition, and you forever make changes to your life. And if you have not experienced that moment yet, then you have you still have some ways to travel in your journey before you reach that, that moment. But I think the key to significant change in whether it's weight loss, whether it's whatever, is that you have to be fed up. You have to have Enough has to be enough. You have to you have to be tired of failing. You have to be tired of not keeping the promise to yourself. You have to be tired of all of that before it finally sticks. But that's not a hey, can you hold this? That's Whoa. sorry. That's not something that you can manufacture. That moment is not something you could just say, okay, yeah, I I feel like I've reached that point. You actually have to you said you can't feel get that. You can't I make that like decision. That point. No, you can't make that decision. That's not something you can just say, okay, yeah, I've reached that point. I think that's something that comes with the pain of constant failure mixed with the right reasons why that you want to stick to it this time. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's kind of like you got to reach a very specific crossroad yeah. in your life where you're just you're just fed up there's only two ways to be to reach that point either you really really get fed up and you hit right before you hit the breaking point you really realize that or god's going to put something traumatic in your life to make you do it and that's what we don't want that, and that's that what traumatic, i try to prevent you don't want the traumatic thing to happen to where you're like wow now that i just lost somebody i love or now that this happened i need to get my stuff together so but you know what sadly it takes that trauma for most yeah, people sometimes yeah it takes that trauma and it took it took trauma for me it wasn't necessarily life-threatening yet but it took it took some real traumatic uh fears or real fears to to yes yeah, some real scares to to for me to stop bsing 
Like that doctor had to look me in my face and tell me that I was gonna die if I didn't change my life. I mean, fatality was on the line for me. And that's what did it for me. And I, I wish, I wish people didn't have to get to that point in order to get serious. But I guess that's, that's just what it is. Like it has to be important, it has to, we have to have certain external pressures sometimes in order to, to make the changes that we need to make. Cause it's not easy. I understand that it's not easy, but it's it's so important. And call me crazy, I'm gonna try to find a way to to wake people up before their life is on the line. I don't know how, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack the code. Watch me, just follow every move. Touch me. All right, so we just put up the plan fitness. When y'all get a chance, go to the Exposed Bricks YouTube channel. I just posted a video that I'm very proud of. I've been working on my editing. I'm trying to become a better editor. Say that three times fast. A better editor, better editor, better editor, better editor. Better editor. So, click the link in the description or there's going to be, I never choose which side, the right side. So it's, the link is either gonna be right here or right here. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure after this time, I'll know exactly which side to point to. I got to exercise, a non-exercise exercise, like a, <laughs> a exercise that I want you to do. It's more like a mental exercise that I want you to try, but I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you guys about that after the workout. Y'all know I cannot bring this camera in Planet Fitness. I'm going to try my best to get some footage of the workout. We're doing a leg workout. I'm going to give you guys a leg workout that you could do at Planet Fitness. I know I have a lot of viewers who actually work out at Planet Fitness. And I'm going to show you the best machines to use or the best exercises to do with what they have at Planet Fitness. But stay tuned because after the workout, like I said, I'm going to give you this mental exercise that I hope will give you some perspective and that will help you. Yo, I was so not an advocate for stretching. I ignored stretching until I got hurt numerous times. And now I see the importance of stretching and how it prevents injuries. So learn from my mistakes. Make sure you're warming up adequately. Make sure you're stretching properly. I don't wanna preach to y'all, but trust me. Dynamic stretching before your workout, static stretching after your workout. Dynamic stretching is the stretches where you're actually moving your body. You're not holding a stretch. A static stretch is when you're holding the stretch. So I'm gonna do a whole video on dynamic warmups. I'm gonna do that separate. So I'm not gonna include any dynamic warmups in this video. So for your staple leg workouts at Planet Fitness, I would go with, I would go with your seated leg press machine. Can't go wrong with that. It's the uh, posterior and anterior parts of your legs your leg extension, which is mostly for your quads. And then your seated leg curl, which is for your hamstrings. And then also you wanna use your Smith machine for squats. So those are the four exercises I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be doing four sets of 12 of each. Nice controlled reps. I'm not trying to lift the gym. Trying to keep my rest times low and I'm gonna just knock them out, get some cardio done, and go home. So that's the leg press machine that I prefer, but it was taken obviously, so I used the other one. phone's memory filled up from filming all that 4k footage but I finished off my workout with some uh, some stairs so I did about 20 minutes of cardio on the stairs which is my favorite 
Anyway, uh, I messed up a lot this weekend. We went to some Brazilian steakhouse situation downtown San Diego yesterday, and I went in. But I'm at a better place with when stuff like that happens. I don't beat myself up about it. I just get in the gym tomorrow, the next day, and get back to it. Anyway, so here's what I want you to do. This is the exercise that I want you to try, right? And listen, I know this is gonna sound extreme, it's gonna sound dramatic, but this weight issue that we have and, the, and this nutrition issue that we have in America, in this country with, with all people, it's, it's that serious. This is a, it's an epidemic. People are dying left and right from lifestyle choices, from the fact that they don't exercise, from the fact that they eat a bunch of bullshit every day. And that's not okay. We can't, we can't continue on this path. But anyway, close your eyes. Because I, I know I mentioned earlier that it takes something drastic for most, for most of us to get it, right? For, the, for that light bulb to go off, for, for us to have that enough is enough moment and we finally make the changes that we owe to ourselves and we owe to our health. It usually takes something drastic happening. So try to simulate this drastic thing happening right now. Like close your eyes and just picture your health being threatened and you not being around for your mom or your kids or your family. Like get other people. You have to close your eyes and feel the emotion, right? Because that's how you burn. That's how you burn it into your subconscious. You have to pretend. You have to use your imagination. It's a real thing. Like if you use your imagination to, to simulate situations, we have the power as human beings to do that. But a lot of us, we don't tap into that power. So like literally right now, close your eyes and imagine you being on your deathbed. It's just, I know this is extreme, it's extreme. But this is what's gonna happen if a lot of us continue on the path that we're on with not exercising consistently and with, with us eating terrible, terrible, terrible diets. Listen, I'm speaking from experience, I almost died. I was borderline diabetic, I had high blood pressure, I had all types of medical issues, and it took me, the doctor looking me in my eyes and telling me, listen, Robert, you're gonna die if you don't change your lifestyle. And I don't want that for y'all. I think y'all could do better than that. Use me as an example, please. I'm begging y'all, use me as an example. Your family depends on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, this world needs you. <sighs> I had to get real dramatic on them real quick. Mm -hmm. um, Me too. You too? <laughs> That's dramatic. Ooh. Tell them. I didn't even do biceps today. I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, subscribe to the Exposed Bricks channel. And as always, guys, I'm just trying to share this wellness that we have, that you can have too. Yeah. You just gotta make this, you just have to make the changes. You have to make the small adjustments to your lifestyle. That's it. Think about this for, think about this as a, a journey of wellness, like a journey of, of just optimizing your life. Like this is not just weight loss. This is not just about the things you see in the mirror or on the scale. That's, that's the least of this. Anyway, get well, get money. <laughs>